Hi everyone, let's solve this math problem. So how are we going to find the product of two binomials, okay, applying the FOIL method? So the FOIL method, FOIL stands for the product of the first term by the first term, outer terms, product of the outer terms, product of the inner terms, and product of the last terms. So that is FOIL method. Okay, so let's find the product. So we have x times x, that is x squared, x times 5, that is 5x, then 3 times x, that is 3x, and 3 times 5, that is 15. Combine similar terms. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 5, and the product of these two binomials x plus 3 times x plus 5 is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 15. So let's have another example. Number 2. What is the product of x minus 4 times the quantity of x minus 6? So using FOIL method, we have x times x, the first term, product of x times x is x squared. Next, outer terms, x times negative 6, that is negative 6x. Product of negative 4 times x, the inner terms. Product of inner terms, that is negative 4x. Then negative 4 times negative 6, that is positive 24. So x squared, negative 6x minus 4x, that is negative 10x plus 24. And this is now the product of x minus 5, quantity of x minus 5 times x minus 6. So, next, number 3. What is the product of x plus 5 times x minus 6? So, the quantity of x plus 5 times x minus 8, sorry, x minus 8. So, applying the FOIL method, first term times first term, x times x, that is x squared, then x times negative 8, that is negative 8x, 5 times x, that is positive 5x, 5 times negative 8, that is negative 40. Combine similar terms, and so we have x squared, negative 8, x plus 5x, that is negative 3x minus 40. So the product of the quantity of x plus 5 times x minus 8 is x squared minus 3x minus 40. So this is the, the answer. Next. Using FOIL method, what is the product of x minus 7 times x plus 3? So applying the FOIL method, first term times first term, that is x squared, x times x, then x times 3, the outer terms, we have 3x, positive 3x, the inner terms, negative 7 times x, that is negative 7x. And last terms, negative 7 times positive 3, that is negative 21. Okay, so we have x squared minus 4x minus 21 is the product of the quantity x minus 7 times x plus 3. I hope you learned something, so please like, share, and follow my account. God bless to everyone.